we be talking about today, ladies. We just gonna have a girl chat, period. Cause mm-mm, mm-mm. I mm -mm. when you see the red flag, <laughs> cut them off, period. Don't don't waste your time, girl. YouTube, it's your girl Jerry. Welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And as always, I hope everybody is having an amazing day today. Okay, so before we hop into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and drop them pink hearts down in the comment section if y'all rocking with your girl. Okay, so y'all know we're wasting some time over here. Let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so y'all see that title down below. So y'all know what we're gonna be talking about today, ladies. We're just gonna have a girl chat, period. Because Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. When you see the red flag, <laughs> cut them off. <laughs> Period. Don't don't waste your time, girl. Don't waste your time. So I got five signs and red flags that you should watch out for during the talking stage, especially in the beginning. That you should not ignore, ladies, okay? And I gotta I gotta rip stuff, <laughs> jot it down, okay? So let's get into it. So number one. Love bumming. When I say love bumming, ladies, it's when a dude get very obsessed and possessive with you when he just met you. Sir, I, I only know you for like the one or two or three days. Like, relax. You feel me? Like, I have met some weird dudes. Like, it's like they think that you go together. They think that y'all already go together and y'all just met. Um, They just become overwhelming, if that makes sense. Like, and sometimes it can be scary because it's like they get so caught up in your looks. I think that's what it be, y'all. Like, cause I remember this one dude, y'all. I didn't even know this man for like 24 hours. And he was just tripping, like blowing my phone up. Um to my yeah, so if you serious, da 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 trying to come to my house, like all that and I didn't even know who for like those 24 hours like basically begging to pull up blowing my phone up I'm just like sir I don't know you for and it's like he went from text on my phone to DM me and so like it became too much for me so I ain't gonna cap I kind of ghosted him but then we end up back communicating and he was like well, yo why you ghosting me I was like you came on too strong and he like yeah, I just think I got caught up in your own um, beauty. I'm like, what? So dudes really do that. Like, you had to be careful with dudes like that. Like, you don't want them becoming too obsessed with you, like, very fast. Like, I'm sorry, ladies. I just don't like that. If I just met you two or three days ago, I'm not your girlfriend. You can't tell me who I can and, and cannot talk to. Don't be blowing my phone up. These dudes, they'll blow your phone up on regular phone. Instagram text me back to back, back to back. It's just like, sir, I will get back to you. Relax, I am not your woman. But they be thinking it. Like, I don't know. I don't even know you. I'm not your babe. You feel me? I'm not your babe. I'm I'm not your baby. I'm not none there. Relax. Play it cool. Don't do too much. So that's definitely a red flag that y'all have to watch out. They love bumming because it can be too much, and sometimes it can actually be dangerous. So, ladies, protect yourself. Okay. And watch out for it because it's definitely a red flag um number two lack of communication i'm sorry i just cannot get down with the lack of communication we have to communicate and it's just i ain't gonna count i'm gonna put myself out there i'm not the best communicator like i used to be because i feel like i used to be the type of person who would communicate with people more than they would communicate with me and it was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. It had to be 15, 50, you feel me? It's no way that you're supposed to like me and we're supposed to have this thing going on and I haven't talked to you for days or it's 24 hours in the day and you have not checked in. And don't get me wrong, ladies, y'all can definitely check in too, but don't make it a habit of you always reaching out to him. Because if you always reaching out to him, not to out of 10, I don't care, he's not feeling you. He's not feeling you. And y'all, I'm a little loco. I started thinking like, oh yeah, you got a girlfriend because what's up what's the problem like why i gotta always reach out like why are you going missing action in days I, I, you haven't checked in the whole day like i'm sorry it's just not for me so you had to communicate with me because i need reinsurance i don't know about nobody else but i am the type of girl who need reinsurance like if i don't know that you're not rocking with me i'm gonna go ahead and move on and that's not a thing 
it's like they're gonna miss the action on you and then once you just like okay whatever cool i'm cool on you this when they come back around and it's just like you don't want to be bothered with no more at least i know i don't want to be bothered with them so that communication is definitely a big red flag that you want to watch out for okay because you just don't want to make that it's a habit of no if he if he mess with you he gonna make sure you know that he like you know messing with you like yeah he applying pressure and stuff so watch out for that like communication ladies um number three if you're boring you gotta go i'm sorry i'm just too old to be seen here testing back and forth every day all day what you doing how you sleep oh, okay that's good it's never um what you doing i'm gonna be on the way i'm gonna take you out on a date today it's the same thing over and over and over again like these dudes are just the same it's very weird like y'all i promise you i have not had a connection with no dude since this one dude and that was like way back like around the holidays and it's just like i don't be having a connection with them because they so boring i'm sorry like and i hate boring people and it's like the type of person i am i have an outgoing personality i like to laugh i like to do all day i have like a sense of humor and it's just like sometimes they don't be getting a sense of humor they just boring and i just cannot get down with that like mm -mm. I, I cannot do boring dudes i'm sorry no so if he boring y'all don't have no connection ladies please just don't even stick around and sometimes we get in these habits where, you know, we be lonely and stuff like that. And we just tell the ladies, no, no, no. So, you know, to be boring, you got to go. That's just one of my red flags, you know. Um, Number four, the only thing they have to offer and when they're not being boring is when they want to talk about sex. Mm-mm. That's a big red flag. That is a big red flag because I don't want to sit up here and talk about sex all the time. Like, okay, it's cool, but okay, what else do you have to offer, baby? Like, and it just become awkward. Like, you trying to have a regular conversation, and he like, you could be like, yeah, uh, what you doing? Nothing chilling, but I'm really just laying down here. Excuse me? Huh? What? Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, these dudes are weird. I have came across some weird dude, and I'm sorry. It's just a turn off for me, and it's a bit red flag for me. Because, no. Okay? So, be careful with dudes like that, okay? Um, My last one um, is number five, a nonchalant dude. Um, I just, I cannot get down with the nonchalantness. Mm-mm. But... I don't know, y'all, like, it's to the point, I, well, I always felt like I couldn't deal with nonchalant dudes, even when I was, like, a teenager and stuff, but now that I'm, like, literally finna be 23, it's just, like, we're too grown, you feel me, like, for you to act like you don't care about anything, like, I just cannot deal with a nonchalant dude, it's a bit turn off for me, and I'm gonna leave you alone, because I have dealt with dudes in the past who, you know, you could tell that they're feeling you. But they gonna act like they don't care about you. And I don't know why dudes are like that. And then like some dudes, they get their heart broken and everything like that. And you know, they be scared to open up and that's understandable. But sir, if you act like you don't care about me, then I'm gonna just move on, okay? I'm gonna apply the same energy and pressure and all that. Who knew like they deeply cared about me, but they get this nonchalant attitude off. They said stuff like, okay, I, I really don't care. Like, just make it seem like they, they didn't have feelings for me. You know, they didn't really care about the situation and stuff like that. And then when I started moving how I was moving, they got in their feelings. But if you had nonchalant, then I'm going to do me, period. We're too old to be walking around with a nonchalant attitude, acting like we don't care about people, acting like you can't express your feelings. Now, I know, like, you know, you can't force somebody just to open up to you real fast because people have been going through stuff. People have to heal. People have been through trauma and everything like that. But, fellas, if you know you care about that girl, act like you care about that girl because if you don't, it's, it's somebody out there who will. You feel me? Like, no. Nonchalant is just a big red flag to me, okay? So, y'all, basically... 
not to the ten, the gut feeling that y'all be having about these dudes, y'all are right and do not ignore the feeling. Like I was saying earlier, sometimes we get lonely, you feel me? So we settle for less, but it's just like, no, we worth more than that. Honestly, I'm in a stage of my life where I feel like, um, I'd rather be alone than to be dealing with a dude where I just don't know, okay, do he care about me? Or I'm letting him treat me this certain way. And I know he only want me for this one thing. And he's not giving me his all and everything like that. I would really prefer to be by myself. Because it's just like, I'm miserable. I'm always sad. All this stuff. Like, I just, I can't deal with it. So, ladies, when you see these red flags, it's just time to let him go. Because the more you allow him to do, he's going to keep doing it. He's gonna keep, I mean, he's gonna keep continuing doing the same things that you are allowing him to do. And it's only gonna get worse from there. Trust me. I, I know. And you know, like, hey, it, you know, don't nobody wanna be lonely, but I'd rather be happy to be sitting up here dealing with these dudes because they be on one. You feel me? So, ladies, just don't settle. And if you notice red flags um, in the beginning, and this already like y'all in the early stages and you didn't know this about I would say at least three red flags <laughs> you gotta go <laughs> it's time to go it's time to head out that door period okay so I hope y'all enjoyed this video of me I hope I wasn't talking all over the place cause sometimes I feel like I be talking all over the place and I be making sense but y'all be getting where your girl be coming from you feel me so I hope y'all enjoyed this video um Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and drop the pink heart down in the comment section if y'all rockin' with y'all girl. And y'all know what to do. Tell a friend and tell a friend to tune in to Life of Jury because we get over here. And I'm going to see y'all next time.